Hello everyone, Gavin Lance Top here. I'm here with uh, Jason Cheatley. He's on a, a boom spray in where are you? Middle of New South Wales. Yeah, middle, middle of New South Wales, central New South. Yeah, they're changing the countryside. Um, mate, just quickly, what was life like, I suppose, before the Man Alive experience? Yeah, 12 months ago, I, I took the leap and uh, jumped into the Man Alive experience. I was just a bit lost um, coming off a divorce and um, yeah, struggling with business and moving forward and, you know, playing the victim of my divorce and wondering why it all had to happen to me. And I just had to change some things and get more positive, keep moving yeah. forward. And um, this program has well and truly helped, helped me to see, uh, see positive ways yeah. and keep moving forward. And I suppose just for maybe people watching for the first time, just met me or Jace, you know, the Man Alive experience, it's about, you know, I believe inside every man's a purpose and mission. Um, so it's about finding your purpose and then actioning it, actually going after it. And I suppose, mate, what's been the best thing that's that's come out of this experience for you? My biggest experience is um, finding what, what makes me happy, what fills my cup. Um, yeah. It's more than just making money and running a business. Yeah. You know, I always used to say I wanted people to think that I was a hard worker. Now I want them to see me as a good business person. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm stepping What's that saying? You, you work um, work on your business, not in your business. So I'm yeah. doing that a little bit more. Yeah. And I'm, I'm finding um, things that make me make me happier are actually helping other men in uh, similar so Tell us about right. that because this is yeah. this is key. You can get all the money in the world, you can get all the resources, but if you're not happy, mate, what's making you happy? No, nah, 100%. Like the, the business and the money, it's all good and fine, but you've got to find what makes you happy and I've, I've well and truly what what um, makes me happy is helping other divorced men or separated men through what what would be the you know sometimes the worst time of your life. So making them realise that they're not the only ones going through it, and there's plenty of help out there, and a and a way forward to keep moving forward and stay positive. Yeah, and what's been great, I suppose, about watching your journey, mate, is because obviously the real you comes out. You know, you can only pretend. To be someone for so long, and the real you is really it's actually the evidence is you are helping so many other men, which is so inspiring, particularly for me, but I mean the other men in the group as well. And and what's been, I mean, for the people just watching, something that I always say, generally in, in a masculine journey, those biggest pains and biggest hurts will motivate something in you to come out, and of course others will benefit. And we're seeing that with you, mate. What's that been like? Because I know you're having lots of phone calls with blokes and, and whatever. How's that going? Yeah, it's going good. Like, you've got to learn from your life experiences. The, the things that are your worst time of your life can can turn out to be a really good life experience for you and you learn. And and you realise that everything happens for a reason. So yeah. everything's happened for me to learn, yeah. learn from your life mistakes and then help out yeah. other men that are going through the similar thing. And like yeah. I said, when you talk to more men, they all go, wow, that's so much like the situation I'm in. Or everyone's a little bit different, but you know what? The story is very similar. Yeah. They just, they're just they just a bit lost and wondering why it happened or how it happened or how they can fix it going into the future. Yeah. So, um, yeah, once you have a chat with a few men and, and just keep them positive, keep them moving forward, they, they can see that. You know, I, my paradigm was I was playing the victim of my divorce and I flicked the switch yeah. and said the best thing that ever happened to me was getting divorced. So I could <laughs> there move, you forward, go. move forward and start start a new start a new direction of where I'm going in life. Yeah, and I know, mate, from, from you know, what I've seen, obviously heard, mate, you're a great father. How, how are your kids going through this process now? Oh, you know, a few years after the divorce. Yeah, the kids thing is very challenging right now. I'm going through a pretty tough stage with them, um, yeah. trying to get more custody of them. Yeah. Um, so it's all a learning curve as to what works and what doesn't. Um, yeah, yeah I, I should have fought harder for them at the start, and I've learned yeah. that now. Um, yeah. But I did that to benefit my business. But but I'm learning now that I should have fought harder at the start for my more custody of my kids, and yeah. that's a learning curve that I'm able to teach other men. Yeah. Um, so, so, you know, my mistakes, other people can learn from that. Um, yeah. But it all depends, you know, the age of the kids and and where you're at from a personal point of view and location and all this sort of stuff. It all changes. Everyone's different. But um, I, I've had a really good life experience the last six months and um, all I can do is 
my vision now is to create an environment that my children want to be around me. So that's yeah. the vision I'm going with. Mate, and that's awesome, mate. It makes me so happy, mate, to hear you say things like that because everyone's got to benefit from, from obviously who you're becoming. And if you're a victim, man, no one's going to benefit. So, mate, you make me happy. It's awesome. No, that's fantastic. <laughs> so, mate, that, maybe just quickly, this. so there's going to be men that are going to hear this, right? Hey, by the way, you men, give this bloke some encouragement, leave him a comment, but there's going to be men that are going to identify with what you've said on the back of the wall, uh, on the back of a divorce, mate. What's what's some advice you could give them right now? Well, some advice is you might, you may be living all over Australia, all over the world. We have men all over all over the world, right. part of this group, and you can yeah. reach out at any stage. Right now, I'm I'm literally sitting in a burn spray, out yeah. spraying a canola crop. I both come on like this. You know, we've got a Zoom meeting coming up, um, yeah. so I I've got connections. You know, all over Australia right now. I get yeah. bored and I jump on my phone and talk to other men in the same situation. Yeah. Yeah. You can't believe the connection that you have. You know, I didn't know these guys 12 months ago, but I've really got a really good connection with many yeah. men in this group and I'll ring them up for a quick chat every now and then. Yeah, yeah, no, awesome. So, gentlemen, hey, if you're having a hard time, reach out to this bloke. He'd love to chat with you. <laughs> yeah, send, a, send right. us a message. I'm up, always up for a chat. Good man. All right. Hey, you get back to it, mate. I'll talk to you shortly. Over and out, everyone. Bye for now.